Okay, so you may have noticed that even though we're not even a week into the new year, uh, people are already doing their 2024 NASCAR predictions. And I'd say, that ah, fuck it. I'll throw my hand in the ring and give you my predictions. Just because e even though you guys probably don't care about them. So, great things first. These are not necessarily like all bold predictions. They're just predictions, okay? I mean, some of them are pretty bold in my opinion, but whatever. They're just my predictions. Secondly, I am recording this on my old phone because trying to record a horizontal video, more specifically a horizontal video of something like this, is a fucking nightmare. So, I'm just going to be filming it on my old phone, and who knows, maybe I'll just go back to filming videos on my old phone, because it works just well when recording. But, anyway... Now on to the show with my predict with my first prediction. Yeah, my first prediction is just a no-brainer. It's that Chase Elliott will have a bad bounce back season. Last year it was great seeing Elliott struggle, mainly because I just love seeing Chase Elliott stand suffer. But he let's be real, that year was a one-off because Elliott was just making a bunch of dumb decisions that last season. Like mainly the him whacking Hamlin and getting himself suspended. Like that was just Dom on him. This year, I'm pretty sure Elliot is not going to do all those dumb things. I'm not going to hold snowboarding against him, but I am holding up, holding the suspension against him. I'm also holding Watkins Glen against him and his crew chief. Especially his crew chief. So, yeah. That, that one's a no-brainer. But, but it's two might not be. Prediction number two is that I think Ryan Priest wins Iowa. And this one, I actually do have some confidence in. Because, number one, Ryan Priest, he's won at Iowa in the Xfinity Series. And he won it in pretty dominating, convincing fashion. So, he has that. Iowa kind of is like a short track. I mean, it's more similar to Richmond. But it is kind of a short track. And Ryan Priest does pretty well on short tracks. I mean, he won the pole in the Spring Martinsville race last year. He got top five at Richmond. And the SHR, even though they were terrible last year, they they had one hold out that they were pretty good on the short tracks. Like Al Mola almost won the Fall Martinsville race. So... Honestly, I think Ryan Priest wins Iowa. But that leads into prediction number three. Prediction number three is that SHR is just going to continue to struggle. Well, again, I think Priest wins Iowa and makes, which will lock him into the playoffs. I believe Ryan Priest is going to be the only SHR four that makes it. Like, no Gregson and Josh Berry. It's their first years at the team. No Gregson. Didn't even finish his rookie campaign. So, there's that. That's not great for him. So, Josh Berry. Eh? Uh, sorry. Even though Josh Berry did okay in his starts, even got a top five at Richmond. That's not a lot. Plus, yeah, sure, he has Rodney Childers, but Josh Berry is... No Kevin Harvick. He'll never be a Kevin Harvick. So yeah. SHR as a whole gets one win and only one guy in the playoffs. That's my current prediction for him. Prediction number four is that I think Bob Wallace gets at least two wins. Now this is one that a lot of people are, are actually saying. They believe Bob Wallace will win multiple races. And I'm part of that. I am part of them. I am one of the people that believe that. Last year was a Pretty good improvement over t compared to 2022. Uh, outside of Cody uh, and him flipping off someone at, uh, at North Wilkesboro. I'm not sure if that was a... I still don't know if that was a joke or not. But he seemed a, a lot more mature in 2023 than 2022. For the most part. And I hope he, that growth continues in 2024 where he just finally... Gets set in the right place. And just goes out there and just starts running. 
Because in my opinion, that's the thing that's holding Bubba Wallace back. It's, it, it, he's holding back himself, in my opinion. And I hopefully, and, but I think in 2024, he's finally going to just put those, I want to call it self-hatred. He's going to put all those negative emotions. You try to ignore all of that and just focus on the on on the racing. I think if he does that, he gets at least two wins. So yeah, that's my prediction for number four. Prediction number five is kind of similar to prediction number three. I think Collie Racing is going to struggle. They no longer have AJ Dominator full time. That 16 car, from everything it's looking like, is just going to be rotational. So. And we saw what happened in 2022. I mean, Adrian Almanager had had some had some good runs towards the end, but overall that car that car was just terrible. I don't even know where finishing the owner points. And then Daniel Hemrick, even like how could you be the definition of mid yet also somehow have an Xfinity title? How do you do that? Well, let me rephrase that. How can you have an Xfinity title to your name, but still be the definition of mid? I don't know how you do that. But yeah, I think Colin Grayson struggles. They don't get any wins. And I think at best, Daniel Hammer gets maybe a top 25 points finish. But I do not see him doing good at all. Alright, prediction number six is I think Ryan Blaine will win more races this year than he did last year. Last year, he only won three races. Yeah, those three races were the Coke 600, Talladega, and Monsville. And then he won the championship after finishing second at Phoenix. I think this year he will somehow get even more wins. But I'm not sure if he makes the championship four again. I That's going to have to wait until I make my playoff predictions in September. Because I'm not doing early player predictions. Oh, heck no. No, no, thank you. Prediction number seven is that I think Rick Ware is going to lose one of their charters. I really think that. Because they almost got their fit, the 15th charter st- taken away last year. But however, they decided since apparently Justin Hale is going to 15. At least that's what it's looking like. They say, oh, we'll, we'll let you keep that. But the 51, we don't even know what the 51's doing right now. Is it is Cody Ware going back to the car? Hopefully not. Like, is Cody Ware going back full-time? Which, again, I hope not. I don't think he deserves it. Or does... Is, or is, the, is the 14, 51 cars going to be rotational between guys like J.J. Yaley... Ryan Newman, maybe. Maybe Cody Ware. So, I really don't know. I feel like if, like, well, I think J- Justin Hale is going to get a top 30 points finish. But I think that 51 will, I think... Of the two, it's likely going to be the 51. Prediction number eight is that I think Kyle Larson will finish both the Indy 500 and the Coke 600. Now, where does he finish? I don't really know. He can get top tens of both of them, like Tony Stewart, or he could just simply merely finish both races, which is something a lot of people actually haven't done yet. It's kind of shocking, actually. They, most people either crash on the Indy 500 or crash on the Coke 600. But I think Kyle Larson will finish both the races. I think he's going to keep it clean for the most part. He might have a few scuff-ups here and there. But I think he'll finish both races. Prediction number nine is that I think Montrix Jr. will announce his retirement. I, I really think this year, 2024, will be Truex's last season. I, I really do. Yeah, sure, he had a, had a rebound in 2023 for the most part, but it ended so fucking horribly. 
Like Chili Cook being my championship pick to not even making the final four. And not even having a Did he even have a top ten? Or was it I think he might have had a couple top tens, but I don't think he even got a top five in ten races. Like how the fuck do you screw that up? Yeah. I think this year's Jerex's final year. He's been in the series full time since two thousand six. He's had a very long, long, successful career. I feel like this year he decides to hang it up. Prediction number 10 is I think Shane Vegas Bergen will not win in any of his starts in the Cup Series. Mainly because, well, he... First of all, I probably spoke Gisbergen wrong. And secondly, people... Most tracks he's going, he's going to be racing at, the drivers already know. Like, I feel like the Chicago Street Course, this time around, people are going to know it a lot better. Because hopefully, we, hopefully Chicago won't see record-breaking downpour. But yeah, I don't think he wins. But however, I'm going to get into some expanding truck predictions right now. Starting with... Starting with prediction number 11, SVG and AJ Armeninger will dominate the road courses. Now, this one is less, is not as much of a prediction, more like, will, will actually just strip end up happening. But, yeah, I really think SVG will win a road course in, in the Xfinity series, maybe multiple. And, of course, AJ Armeninger. He's AJ Armeninger. Don't expect AJ Allmendinger to slow down anytime soon, especially on road courses. Prediction number 12, and this is, might be a bold one. I'm not entirely sure, but prediction number 12 is I think Gene Mosewitz will have a down season. Now, while I think Sam Mayer will, like, could potentially win some races, and of course Justin Allgaier is going to win races, he's probably going to make the Final Four again. I think Brandon Jones and Sammy Smith. I'm not entirely sure about Sammy Smith, but Brandon Jones, holy shit. Talk about a fucking catastrophe. Holy shit, that was a horrible year. Like, I've never seen a guy do that terrible, but... Lo and behold, Brandon Jones in the same nine car that won, what was it, eight, nine races in 2022? Couldn't even make the fucking playoffs. It was ever even remotely, it was never even remotely in contention to get a win anywhere. Oh my fucking lord. Sheesh. And Sammy Smith, while there is a possibility, I might be wrong about Sammy. I don't see him winning. He only got one win, and he was kind of a no-show in the summer. I think, anyway. I didn't really pay much attention to experience series last year. But from anything I heard, he wasn't doing much last season. But anyway, yeah, I think Jimmy Motorsports is going to have a mostly down season. Prediction number 13 is that I think Haley Deegan is going to continue to suck. He, no, she, I, I, I'm sorry, Haley. She is been terrible in trucks. She was okay in Arco. Now, and, and again, I can't be wrong. She did okay in her truck in her Xfinity start. I got I've been saying he so much today. I I am sorry, Haley Deegan. But yeah, she he did terrible in trucks. And she's not going to that great equipment. I don't even I don't even remember what team it is she's driving for. What was it, uh 
I'll, I'll check later. I'll check it later, bud. What the hell is my buddy doing? I'll check later. What is he doing? I'm sorry. Hey, my brother, he's doing some weird things over there. I think he's playing with his door. Yeah. So yeah I think Halo Dean's going to continue to suck. Sorry. Prediction number 14. I only have one for trucks. And it's, uh, I think Jace Purdy will win his... Will get his first career truck series win. Uh, he came very close in that... Um... Uh, Ins insult of a uh, championship championship truck race. He came pretty close, uh, but he was just a few yards. He was just a few yards from the start finish line away from making it, from getting the win. But I think this year he will. A, do better, and B, I think he will get that first win, because he actually did not have that bad of a season last year, which is kind of shocking, because KBM kind of sucked last year, but yeah, Chase Brady gets his win, and I only have one prediction left, and it's the Daytona 500 winner, and I think that will be Brad Keselowski, that's right, I think this year Brad Keselowski finally wins the Daytona 500, he... Came very close last year, but however, he was just a f he was just two cautions away from winning the 500 last year. In a uh, in 2022, he had the fastest car, but however, he made a bunch of dumb mistakes that race. In 2021, he had that thing in the bag, had Legal not thrown out a fucking late ass block and killed everybody. So yeah. At three years, I think this year Keselowski finally gets it done. I think Keselowski will finally win, get that 500 win. Goddamn time. So yeah, those are my 15 predictions. Take a good look at them. I'll revisit these in November. And I thought I had a video where I revisited my 2023 early predictions. I guess I don't. I might record that later. Or if I find it on... <coughs> or if I find it on this phone, I'll upload that. After this. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for... What the hell he's doing over there. And yeah, see you guys next time.